Well, Zillow finally did it. They downgraded their housing market forecast over the next 12 months. So that's the topic of today's video because as I've been reporting to you guys on a monthly basis, Zillow has become more and more bullish about our housing market. So this is the first time in several months that Zillow has finally downgraded their housing market forecast over the next 12 months. So that's the topic of today's video. Please hit the like button if you get any value out of this video. Also consider subscribing as well. I post the latest housing market updates. So hope you guys appreciate all these updates I'm making for you guys. I truly enjoy making them as well. In any case, let me share the exact report from Zillow. They just announced this on the 20th of uh, April. And then here's what it says. Zillow expects annual home value growth, in other words, home prices, to begin a gradual cool down late this spring. Zillow forecasts for a 14.9% growth over the next 12 months. They are also forecasting for 6.09 million existing home sales, meaning not new home sales, existing houses. So for 6.09 million existing home sales uh, in 2022, according to the latest forecast, and that's a 0.5% decrease from 2021. So they are still forecasting for home prices to increase. However, this is a downgrade from the previous forecast, which I'm gonna be showing you right now. This was published one month ago. So one month ago, they said that we're gonna basically have home prices peak in May, peaking at 22% gain year over year this May. No mention of that in this new report here. Uh, also, they said that we're going to be seeing a gradual slowing to 17.8% by February 2023. So right now, they're forecasting for 14.9% over the next 12 months and not 17.8%. In addition, the previous forecast was calling for home sales to be at 6.4 million uh, expected for 2022. So the previous forecast from one month ago said we're going to be seeing 6.4 million home sales now they're only forecasting 6.09 million. So a decrease of over 300,000 home sales in 2022. In addition to that, they say over the next three months, Zillow expects home values to grow by 5.5%, but that's actually down from the previous forecast for a 5.9% gain in the next three months. So they went from 5.9 to 5.5%. So according to Zillow, here's why they're downgrading their housing market forecast for 2022. They say driving the downward revised forecast is because of affordability headwinds for home buyers right now that have strengthened faster than expected, largely due to sharp increases in mortgage rates. Of course, as you guys know, mortgage rates have been increasing greatly. They also say there's further risk to this outlook as well. Inventory remains near record lows, as you guys all know, but have the potential to recover faster than anticipated, which could lower future price and sales volume projections. In other words, uh, they're saying that we could see more housing inventory, and if that does happen, we could see lower home prices and, of course, sales volume uh, projections to uh, change as well. So let's first talk about housing affordability. I talk about this on the channel all the time because as mortgage rates increase greatly, about 2.2 percentage points compared to one year ago, and also as home prices increase as well, home prices have increased about 15%, that causes housing affordability to get worse and worse um, as the months uh, progress. So I wanna share this report from the National Association of Realtors regarding the latest housing affordability challenges uh, in the US right now. This was actually just published uh, last week. They say compared to the prior month, the monthly mortgage payment increased by 6.1%, while the median family income rose modestly at 0.4%. This is a big headline here because if incomes only rise by 0.4%, that is not in line with uh, with inflation, of course. Inflation right now is basically over 8%. So basically, if we have a wage gains of 8%, that's getting eaten away by inflation uh, right now. In any case, you can't have the monthly mortgage payment uh, increase by 6%, if you only have wage gains of 0.4%. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, We can't have home prices increase um, at 15 to 20% each year and only have wage gains of less than that. So compared to one year ago, according to the National Association of Realtors, affordability declined in February as the monthly mortgage payment increased by 30.4% compared to one year ago. Uh, Meanwhile, uh, family incomes only rose by 3.6%. All to say that's not sustainable. We can't have incomes increase by 3.6%. 
which is actually less than inflation, and also have uh, the monthly mortgage payment increase by 30%, not sustainable. The effective 30-year fixed rate mortgage was at 3.83% this February, compared to 2.86% one year ago. And right now, mortgage rates are approximately in the range of 5.4 to 5.6%. Uh, meanwhile, the median existing home sale price rose 15.5% from one year ago. And before we go back to this report from uh, Redfin, I want to show you this graphic here to show you how low housing affordability is right now. So right now they have an index of 135.4 uh, for February. This is the most recent data they have uh, according to the National Association of Realtors. But compare that to one year ago, that index was at 170.4. So we're seeing this big uh, downward trend in the affordability because Home prices have been increasing greatly, and of course, mortgage rates have been increasing greatly as well. And here's also a basically a depiction about uh, what's really going on, what's causing this lack of affordability as well. So again, their index is at 135.4, but look at 2021, 2020, and 2019. Their index was far higher. And by the way, the higher the index, the more affordable housing is. Of course, the lower the index, the uh, least affordable it is. So right now, 135.4, compare that to pre-COVID, 159.7. So back in 2019, the median family income was at $80,000 and now it's at $88,000. But the qualifying income was $50,000 uh, in, back in 2019 because home prices were only at 274,000. Now they're at 363,000. So that's a, a big increase of $50,000 needed to buy the median price home in 2019. Now it's $65,000. In addition, because home prices have been increasing greatly and of course have mortgage rates increasing as well, more people are buying houses and using a higher um, share of their income towards their housing payment. So here's the monthly um, p and um, payment, $1,361 um, per uh, month uh, for the median price home. Compare that to uh, 2019, it was only $1,054 per month, where that payment only makes up 15.7% of their income. Now it's 18.5%. In any case, let's go back to this report from um, Zillow, but I really want to really share how the uh, really having an affordability crisis right now in the US because of these uh, issues that home buyers are facing right now. Let's hope there's gonna be some uh, headwinds or some less headwinds uh, in the uh, months to come here. So let's read on here what they have to say. Even with a downturn revision from last month, these figures would represent a remarkably competitive housing market in the coming year. So they basically said that we, if we have home gains of 14.9% compared to one year ago, that's still elevated historically speaking, of course that is. And also, of course, if we have uh, home sales of 6.09 million, they say that would mark the second best calendar year since 2006. Uh, they also say that labor market continues to be a bright spot for this um, economy here. We have very low unemployment, higher nominal wages, though inflation is putting pressure on household budgets. Of course, as you guys saw, we can't have uh, wage gains of 5% and inflation at 8%. That's not sustainable. So here's some graphics I wanna share with you guys. Here's home sales on a seasonally adjusted annual basis, according to Zillow. Uh, their forecast right now is right here. So this is their March forecast. This is March, 2022 to March, 2023. The previous forecast was February to February. So the February forecast, as you can see, was higher. Now they're downgrading the forecast, saying that we're gonna be having just over 6 million houses. Um, they're gonna be sold this year compared to uh, one month ago, they said it was gonna be about 6.4 million. In addition, here's their index for home prices. As you can see here, here's their February forecast where they, they were saying that we're gonna be seeing this big increase in May uh, for home values, then it's gonna fall off through 2023. However, their most recent uh, forecast for March uh, is downgraded from that. So they said home prices are gonna be increasing slightly before they decrease through the next uh, 12 months uh, as we progress. So we'll have to see if that's continues here. What's also very alarming is that, of course, Zillow is downgrading their housing market forecast over the next 12 months. And of course, as I mentioned, they were more bullish in their previous two um, housing market forecasts. They're finally more bearish uh, than their previous forecasts. But the National Association of Realtors, I also noticed, they are also stating that the housing market is starting to cool. Uh, this is a new report. They actually just published this yesterday. Uh, and here's what they say. Mortgage rates continue to surge for the seventh straight week. According to Freddie Mac, the 30-year fixed rate mortgage 
rose to 5.11% uh, from 5% from the previous week. And by the way, I don't really uh, share too much regarding uh, mortgage rates according to Freddie Mac and the Mortgage Bankers Association because they only update average mortgage rates on a weekly basis. So on a weekly basis, rates rose by 5.1%. However, I like to look at mortgage rates on a daily basis. And actually, speaking of that, let me share the latest uh, stats we have for uh, mortgage rates right now. This is actually just updated uh, in the afternoon hours of the 22nd. So the average right now for a 30 year is at 5.39%. That's up one basis point from yesterday at 5.38%. In any case, compared to one month ago, uh, that's an increase of 67 basis points. Compared to one year ago, absolutely insane. 2.25 percentage points compared to one year ago. In the 52 week range here, look at this. 2.78 was the lowest that we had over the past 52 weeks. The last time we had rates this low at 2.78 was back in August of 2021. Now we're at 5.39. So compared to August of 2021, rates are about double what they were uh, compared to them, which is pretty remarkable. And by the way, these are the average rates across the nation for people with exceptional credit. So if you have exceptional credit, these are the ranges that you may see. Of course, everyone's uh, financial picture is different. And so mortgage rates can vary by um, the lender and of course by the individual as well. Also, investopedia.com is uh, stating that the average right now is actually at 5.60%, uh, not 5.39%. In any case, going back to this report from the National Association of Realtors, it says as a result of these uh, rising mortgage rates, um, home buyers need to earn, meaning they need to make more money uh, of about $25,000 more per year uh, if they want to buy the typical home now compared to one year ago. It goes on to say the following here. While people need to spend more of their budget on housing to buy a house, it seems the housing market has started to cool. And keep in mind, this is from the National Association of Realtors, which tend to have a more of a bullish tone with their narratives, uh, with their latest uh, housing market updates. Anyways, the National Association of Realtors is saying that the housing market has started to cool. Existing home sales dropped by 3% in March compared to February as mortgage rates rose nearly one percentage point. And it says here at the bottom of the report here, the market has lost steam due to higher mortgage rates. In my personal opinion, I'd be very shocked if we don't see a housing market cool down because mortgage rates have been increasing greatly. And this causes uh, people to have less um, available options to buy a house because for every 1% gain in uh, mortgage rates, that causes a 10% decrease in buyer's purchasing power. And as if you guys uh, saw in my previous video, I shared an example with uh, people buying a house for $500,000 based on rates from one year ago at approximately 3% versus rates right now at approximately 5.4%. If someone's buying a house right now for $500,000, putting 20% down, that's gonna cost the home buyer about $555 more per month to buy that house compared to one year ago. So in my opinion, the housing market we're seeing right now, the, the gains we've been seeing is not sustainable. I'll definitely keep you posted with the latest housing developments though. Also make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hope you have an awesome day and look forward to seeing you in the next video.